Nope. Even though Windows 11 is the latest version of Microsoft software, there are still a lot of issues to be fixed. So today I'm going to teach you how to install Windows 11 on any supported PC or any PC honestly. This video will also help you install Windows 11 from USB for those who find it easier this way. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Alright, let's begin. So I'm going to firstly show you how to install Windows 11 and show you how to fix every problem that you may encounter while trying to get this epic piece of software. The first thing you want to do is check if your PC is supported for Windows 11 or not. To check this out, you gotta open the search bar and look for PC Health app. Once you open it, you're going to be able to see if your device is able to run Windows 11. If your device can run and install Windows 11, that means your computer is supported. To install it, all you need to do is go to the official Microsoft website, make sure it's actually the official one, like a lot of people can scan this stuff. Or go to settings and check if you're able to upgrade from there. So the most popular issue when upgrading is TPM 2.0 not enabled. The easiest method to do this is by updating your motherboard with the latest UFI. We're going to pronounce it UFI because that's how Google says it's pronounced. Which might automatically update your TPM. The second option is to open BIOS and look for an option called something like TPM, Intel PTT, AMD PSP, VTPM, or security device. You might also find it in a menu named Advanced. Trusty computing or security. After doing this, rerun the PC Health app and see if you're able to upgrade. Another issue is the keyboard not enabled, which you might find a setting that fixes this in the UFI firmware settings. This setting is usually on on most PCs unless you've got to install Linux, or it can be disabled on your motherboard. One big problem is no UFI, which means having MIBR instead of GPT. Make sure you don't ever try to install and use Windows 11 on a MIBR partition. It's extremely important to only upgrade if your HDD is in GPT. This is pretty rare, but if you have it, you'll have to switch the GPT partition table to use UFI. You might want to try Microsoft's MiBR to GPT tool, which may allow you to convert a drive from MiBR to GPT. Microsoft warns that you should only do this if you know your PC supports UFI. If this is your only problem, I just recommend to do a clean install, honestly. I can't imagine how much stress this would take me to complete. Like, just pack up your files and then do it. If you have an unsupported CPU or TPM 1.2 and you aren't able to upgrade, just don't switch Windows 11. I'm not going to show you how to change the registry because you can cause huge problems with your Windows installation. Honestly, just avoid upgrading. Um. So now for a second part of the video, where I'll show you how to install Windows 11 from a USB drive. Firstly, you need to make sure you have minimum 8GB on your drive and of course your device is supported. You also need to download the ISO file and create the USB drive. When you're done, you can insert it into the computer you want to install Windows 11 on. Right, so once you make sure you meet all the requirements, you want to insert the USB into your PC or you want to make the bootable USB drive on, and you want to head to the official Microsoft Windows 11 download page. In the Create Windows 11 installation media group, you can read about everything you need before you begin, and once you read everything again, click download now. Run the program once it's finished downloading. The first window that will appear is the license and terms and applicable notices. The boring stuff that no one cares about. Just click upset like everyone does. After a few seconds, another window will appear telling you to select the language and edition to get. If you're wondering why there is no 32-bit option, it's because Windows 11 only works with 64-bit computers. On the next screen, you want to select USB flash drive and click next. After this, you want to select the drive you want to use. The downloading process will begin and be prepared to wait a little bit unless you're rich and have Elon Musk's network. Once everything is done, just click the finish button and remember to safely remove the USB drive by clicking into your hidden icons bar and selecting extract. Alright, so now it's time to install Windows 11 from the USB drive. For this to work, you'll have to set the boot order to the drive. To this, restart your PC. When it's in the loading to open page, press F11 or F12 or whatever key I have to open BIOS aka UFI, UEFI or whatever you want to call it. After you select the USB drive from the boot menu, your PC will reboot from the USB drive instead of the hard drive asking you to begin the setup, meaning you are ready to set up your computer with Windows 11. First you need to choose the language to install, the time, currency format and the keyboard or input method. 
Click next after you set everything and click install now. Windows will tell you that the setup is starting and then you'll be on the Windows setup screen where Microsoft will of course want more of your money so they will ask for a product key. You can also select the depth option where you select I don't have a product key and they're going to lend you a free trial and then you have to pay. Holy this is huge. I'm going to select Windows 11 Home because that's like the first option I think it's fine. Pretty sure that's what the majority of people have. Okay now click accept, honestly this is just user stuff not worth reading but if you want to do so just yeah. Alright so on the next page you want to select advanced because we are doing a fresh install. After everything is done you want to select the drive and click next. The wizard will now begin installing the windows files. Obviously if you want to reach using godly internet it will take a bunch of time. Once everything is done installing your computer will restart and you will be greeted with windows 11. Congratulations for getting this done, honestly it takes a bit of time. If you are still watching, I love you and of course make sure to like and for the last time because of the new YouTube update that's coming, hit that red subscribe button. I hope this video helped you and as always this was Amex and I'm out.